Once again, it's Eric Spivak here for Korea Blockchain Week, Blockster Media, and New Friendship Tech. We are here with Ram of Open Ledger, and I'm excited to hear what they've got cooking up. Obviously, uh, anybody that's taken the time to come out to Seoul for a big activation like this uh, has some interest or is crypto curious, but Open Ledger is pretty well known, so I don't think it's uh, a dabbling situation. So, Ram, if you can introduce yourself, um, what Open Ledger does and what you do for them, and uh, then we'll just go back and forth and it'll be super formal and easy, okay? Awesome. This is Ram. I'm uh, one of the core contributors at Open Ledger. Open Ledger is an AI blockchain that enables users to contribute data sets and get rewarded for that. Think of us to be open AI, but much more open and enabling people to be get rewarded if they contribute to AI, right? Uh, we've been in the space for about two years. We are currently live in mainnet and our token is trading as well. We are in Binance, Bitthumb and Upbit and other tier 1 exchanges as well and uh, it's been a quite a journey. Uh, we have close to about 1 million data contributors in our platform. Uh, we have 20 different projects building on us. We work with enterprises. This includes Trust Wallet, Walmart and many other brands as well. And I'm glad to be here and talking about AI space. Personally, I've been in this space from 2017. Started here because someone paid me in Bitcoin and uh, been here from that, been an enthusiast, been a builder and I'm glad to be building in the space and uh, I think we just started now with the product being live. Uh, we want the product to be known much more outside, we want people to use it. I'm here to meet partners, builders on the space who are building on Open Ledger and would love to talk more about what we do. For sure. And then with that, um, for Open Ledger, what would you say is like the biggest hurdle or form of adversity that you guys have faced up until now? Obviously with compliance and legal and lobbyists and all the different things that are, you know, required in order to get to certain points. What, what would you say is like one of or maybe two of the biggest issues that you guys have faced to get to where you're at now? Um, I think of the AI space, the biggest struggle is... Uh, Especially like crypto AI is the awareness, right? A uh, lot of people think AI is is like something which is new that people are going to lose jobs and really worried about it, right? Uh, the best thing about a new technology is that you get to know about it and you embrace it and you learn about that. Then you're part of that instead of being worried that you're going to lose your job, right? Uh, a lot of people when there was uh, the PC revolution lost jobs but there are more jobs made as well. So I think AI is very similar. And humans, uh, by nature, are decentralized. So we want to get humans across the globe who have skill to contribute data and get rewarded for it, right? Most of the AI today are trained on internet data. There is only so much internet data that you can consume. But there is so much out there with people's knowledge and skill that can be contributed to building better forms of AI, right? Uh, today, ChatGPT is a general application where you can ask like random questions. But if you want to use AI for trading, if you want to use AI for media, you want to use AI for many very unique use cases, then you need to collect data sets on that particular field. You need to collect knowledge on that particular field. And that's what Open Ledger enables. Anyone who is contributing for a particular AI to be built, we want to make sure they get rewarded. We want to make sure they get paid. And um, that's what we built our protocol for. We have something called data attribution, which is very unique. And what it does is basically it figures out, if you contribute a data, it figures out whether your data had the biggest impact on the model and it meters your data contribution. Like you, there could be like 100,000 people who contributed to data. So it figures out the contribution and then rewards them accordingly. And we're the first guys to actually use data attribution on an AI model's output. Um, and that's been very helpful for us. It also helps in terms of rewarding people correctly. And also when enterprises work with us, it also helps them to figure out how their AI model works. They, they make these models much more open. They can make these models much more explainable. I think that's very important and uh, we're glad that we're able to do this. And I'm here to just uh, talk to people about what you're doing, uh, bring awareness and have them build more on us and other decentralized AI projects as well. Yeah, I think for the sake of sustainability and longevity with AI, you have to start compensating creators. And maybe not just creators, but contributors of all sorts. And I think that's something that's always been really um, a sour uh, or a bad taste in my mouth when it comes to talking about AI. Because as a creator first, and a curator, and a collector, I just, I you know, I care about 
hoarding information. I care about keeping samples and keeping sets and keeping different versions of my past work aside so I can reflect and go back and pull them out of the archive. But I don't keep them for people to scan my entire library, my life's work, to do what I do in seconds with the snap of a finger and then go off to do amazing things in my industry that they don't really care about, but because they were able to imitate or duplicate something off of my data sets you know that's that's upsetting so i think what you're doing is you're you're doing it right you know aggregation and appropriation without attribution and clarity on where the sources are is, is so so important so with that um what would you say is like one of the highlights or biggest moments that Open Ledger has had? Obviously, you guys have a token um, and you're making moves on that front. But what would you say is like a huge or big win that you've had? Uh, I think the product being live is very important for us. Um, we wanted to make sure that we have the product out. Uh, we it goes to the right people, and we have the community looking at the product and like giving feedback constantly as well. Uh, so making sure that we go mainnet before we uh, launch our token, I think that's very important. And we did go mainnet. We now have the product outside. People can actually use them. Um, we've got like 20 projects building on us for actually collecting data from millions of data contributors across the globe. They, were, they are live in our product right now. Uh, now, once the token is out, they started giving out rewards. So people who actually contributed data started getting rewards for like projects. Uh, and we have like enterprises who are using a product as well. So having the product out and showcasing what is possible was important for us. Uh, the data attribution protocol that we worked on was, you know, a theory, right? And we made it practical over the last two years. We've been doing that. Uh, we we made it practical in the product in terms of how we launched it. Now it's much more product where in the hands of users and builders are building on us as well. Now we are able to see it in action. I think that was very important for us. So I'm glad that we could get the product out. Uh, the next step is to make sure that we create more and more awareness. We get, we make more and more people to use this. I think um, that's the next steps forward as well. Sounds good. And then I guess lastly, what would you say is, um, what, what would you say is, oh, oh, you're good. What, what would you say is the next, um, I guess it, we're, we're getting into 2026 shortly, right? What would you say is around the curve or something that people on building on Open Ledger or creating projects for Open Ledger? What would you say is like the the next big thing for you guys? If you if you can share it. Uh, so AI is always changing. Uh, there is some other new thing that's being brought up as well. Uh, so sorry, I'm not able to talk. Sorry. No, I can hear you really well. I'm not able to talk, so yeah, sorry. Do you wanna probably yeah, ask? I'll, I'll ask it again. Sorry. So <clears throat> twenty twenty six is around the corner. Um, a lot of announcements typically come in quarter four for a lot of companies. I'd be very curious if there's anything that you can share for people that do follow and support and build with and on open ledger. Is there anything that you're at liberty to share that you're not going to get in trouble for? Like, okay. Yeah, let us know what, what we can look forward to. So uh, we're launching the next version of the product as well. So we just went with the phase one main night. Uh, AI is always changing. There's something new or the other that keeps on coming on. So we're launching a next version of the product in about two to three months time. Uh, there'll be an app out as well on the product which people can get access to. Uh, we are also onboarding a couple of other enterprises. Uh, there's one of the largest electronic giants across the globe. We just onboarded them as clients, so we'll be announcing about that. So these are some interesting stuff that is coming along. And uh, since now the product is permissionless, we have like 20 folks building on us in testnet. Uh, that close to is going to about 50 plus projects right now building on Open Ledger. So we'll be announcing and we'll be talking about them. Uh, we've launched our grant program. So we've given out grants for a couple of projects as well. We'll be announcing about that soon. And uh, we're actively building. We are launching like a series of hackathons across the globe. So all of this is coming along in the next year. Yeah. All right. And uh, last but not least, where can people find you and follow you? You can uh, find about Open Ledger at Open Ledger HQ. And uh, my Twitter is like at Twitter, at uh, Ramkumar Tweet. So... My DMs are open, happy to talk to people. Yeah, awesome. 
All right. Thank you very much.